to my channel. Today we are going to be doing Juneteenth home decor and I'm super excited. Um, I did a lot of research for this and I put a lot of things into the Pinterest board for you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. Of course I just wanted to start off with just like the flags and the meaning behind the flags and the colors since a lot of those colors will be used today um, in our home decor. So basically the Juneteenth flags, there's actually two of them. I did not know this when I first started my research for you guys, but yeah, there's two flags. There's one that is red, green, um, and black. And then there is, of course, the red, white, and blue flag, which I had no clue even existed. But yeah, basically the one that we know today, um, the red, green, and black one was actually a pan-African flag. And so that's just the one that we adopted. And so the red basically just represents the blood. Um, the black represents um, us the melanin and the green just represents like the soil and prosperity of Africa um and then the other flag um the American flag that flag actually has a star in the middle of it and so that flag was intentionally um meant to show that formerly enslaved um descendants were now like a part of America and like were considered American. So I just thought it was super cool that there were actually two flags. Um, and so I just wanted to share that information with you guys before we jump in just so you guys kind of understand um, the coloration, the division that I went through. And then of course, yellow is included. I don't know why, but yellow is included. So let's go ahead and jump into the Pinterest board right now. Now I did um, separate it by color because for one, it was appealing to my eyes, but also just because like, I wanted to include every single color for you guys so there was something in that color um, sector that you could pull from that you could use if you don't like my exact thing that I did just remember this is always for inspo of ways that you can incorporate these colors these emotions of the holiday into your home without just you know splashing it everywhere in a, in a different manner you know um, but yeah, so we're gonna start at the bottom per usual and our first color is going to be green. Yes, I love green way too much. And so for this sector, I just really wanted to bring in plants for you guys. So this plant um, is sold at Etsy and it is a braided African plant. Um, I just thought this plant was super beautiful. It would be great in an entryway. Um, it would be great, you know, if you wanted to just put it on like a coffee table, stuff like that that or if you have a patio that's a great um place to bring in those greens into your home um now i also found this other plant it is the um poly african plant um excuse me if i pronounced anything wrong but this one is also sold on etsy i thought this would be great on a bookcase um great on a table anything like that for you guys and um like i said it just brings that green um color into the home and then i also um found like some vases just some decor items that you could put around the home so um this vase is beautiful i love this color of vase if it's not your color that is completely fine i just love the style of these vases I love the curvature that it has and the lip um, mouth that it has where it's like smaller and round. So I just wanted to recommend these for you guys. Would be great um, at an entryway on an entryway table. Um, they would be great on your dining room table if you're hosting guests and you wanted to do a dining room set um, in your kitchen on your island just things like that just to keep in mind for this and then moving up I found these beautiful green um, candle holders I don't know what it is about them I don't know if it's the fact that they look kind of like distressed or like you know that they have like charm to them that makes me like them but yeah so these are also sold um at Etsy of course all of these things you don't have to buy the specific thing but I just thought these were super beautiful if you didn't like the vases that I recommended these would be another great option for an entryway your dining room table as well or just you know anywhere around your home that you just feel like you would like to bring this green color in 
Now, jumping up, we're going to get into the red sectors. Now, I always have throw pillows for you guys. One thing about me is that I'm going to decorate your couches. So, <laughs> for our throw pillar, pillow inspo today, I found this red um, throw pillow. It's the African Mud Cloth pillow sham I thought it was absolutely beautiful you do not have to agree with me I just enjoyed this like rustic like mud cloth pillow style um I enjoyed um just the textures and just the prints that it had so I definitely wanted to recommend that for you guys it is at Etsy but of course there's probably like plenty of pillows out there that look like this one so of course you can just take inspo from it and you don't have to buy this exact one um but I thought that was super cute um now jumping more so into red um I always do like dining room table inspo for you guys so for this Juneteenth video I just thought we should just bring in some red wine I just thought red wine would just be a beautiful um way to like bring the red to the table without it being like too much if that makes any sense and then also like red is the symbol of blood and we know communion we do wine for the symbol of Jesus's blood so I just thought it all it all tied together you know it tied together very well um and I thought this putting red wine in a like beautiful glass vase or decanter like this one would be great so if you already have a decanter it's time to pull that out we're gonna put it on the table if you don't have a decanter don't worry i got you because you can just get a pitcher just a very clear glass pitcher and fill that with red wine or juice if you don't drink wine because that's fine as well and put that on the table it adds the red you don't have to do too much and it's very simple and easy there for you guys now another way to bring red to the table I'm going to talk about two cups so this first cup over here I got um let me see if it'll pause so this one is going to be from CB2 the reason I selected this is because I just like the curvature of the cup if I'm being completely honest it kind of reminded me of those candles like the woman shaped candles and I just loved that I don't know why but like the shape of a woman's body and like movement it just it speaks Africa to me um and so that's why I chose these candles for here and of course they are red so it's a good way to tie in the red to your table or just in general if you just like these cups and you just want to have them in your home here they are for you at CB2 now the other cup is of course we have to stay on trend we have to stay on brand so these cups are popular right now so if there's something that you're into and you want more of them they are at H&M they fit the aesthetic they fit the design so go ahead and cop these red glasses because they're cute like why not now moving up to the yellow section I enjoyed this section because I don't know yellow is just such a nice vibrant happy color um so for our dining room tables I really just loved this yellow table runner yes we didn't do a green table runner this time guys I'm changing we're developing we're changing we're growing but yeah so this is going to be the table runner that I would recommend I have another one for you guys because I know different people have different tables and like different colors go with different tables but I would highly recommend this table runner if you have a um dark wood table a light wood table I think dark wood and light wood um it would work with a black table too honestly I'm not even gonna lie um so those table types I would recommend it I think it would be great I feel like yellow is a great color universally so girlies with the lighter aesthetics girlies with the darker aesthetics you guys can both really use this yellow table runner now moving up I always got to give you guys some flowers because I gave you vases so what are you going to put in the vases if I don't give you flowers and so this is going to be your African marigold flower I think this flower is beautiful I love the pom-pom shape of it and like the look of it so I definitely wanted to recommend this for you guys they're at Walmart like you can go and get them at Walmart or you know now that I've recommended a yellow flower you know you can 
choose a yellow flower for your vases. So yeah, I think the yellow and the green, especially in the vases I recommended, would go so well together and would just bring like a lot of light and pop of color to your home. And then moving up, I'm always gonna give you a throw pillow. I throw blanket oh my gosh I always mix up those two but yeah because like I said I'm always gonna decorate your couches like that's just me but <laughs> this um throw blanket is from crate and barrel I chose a yellow throw blanket because I feel like it kind of works for both um aesthetics and I just love the pop of yellow and just the brightness that it brings I also loved the tassels and the texture of this blanket like I feel like like that's one thing that I definitely would bring into your homes for Juneteenth is going to be texture. Um, and you know, I just loved this one for that aspect of it. So I definitely wanted to recommend that for you guys. And then moving up into the black sector, the melanin sector, we have the vases. Um, I found this vase this wouldn't be like my specific recommendation this was more like an inspo so like if you already have a vase if you've been um to an african country or an african yeah if you've been to africa and you're like you already have like those things like this is the time to like bring them out um use them around your home if you haven't you know go thrift shopping like see what you can find in your neighborhoods and your areas and so i just wanted to give this to you guys as inspo of kind of like what to look for and what would just fit cohesively with these colors and with this like aesthetic that we're bringing to the home now for our table oh this is what sparked it off for me this was this was my first find that i was just like oh i know what direction we're going here with this and it was um these ceramic plates like this exact picture was just like a moment for me because i just envisioned someone's table with like the yellow table runner squiggled like this like some cute like either like candles or you know um like vases in between uh and then just these beautiful like eye-catching like plates like I loved it the moment I saw it and so I wanted to give you guys like more options on these plates because basically what they are they're just black ceramic dinner plates so regardless if you go for the um, more unstructured um, circle oval situation with the other ones or the more structured um, circle ones here I just think it would be beautiful it would pop on your table now, of course if you have a black table it would kind of disappear but <laughs> If you don't have a black table this would work for you okay um so yeah and then moving up i also have a table runner um another table runner recommendation for you guys because i know not everyone is into color it's not everyone's style it's not everyone's aesthetic so i wanted to give you guys a more neutral um table runner there so this is just a black one it of course has those textures and patterns in it that we want to bring in during this holiday season um and just it fits very well on lighter wood tables, white tables, things of that nature. So, and it's at Crate and Barrel. So if you're looking for it, Crate and Barrel. Now this chain, I feel like everyone should have in their home at this point because it was trending for way too long. It might still be trending. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, this chain, if you don't already have one, there's one at West Elm, okay? So if you want this one for $75, you can go to West Elm and get it. I think another thing that you could do if you just wanted it for the season, because you know, uh, it's Juneteenth, we break in those chains. You could probably just go to the Dollar Tree and get those like circle green chain things they have and then just like cut slits and like connect them to each other and then like spray paint them black. like. That's a recommendation I would give. Like if you're gonna do that, tell me that you did it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how it works because that one just came off the dome. But uh, <laughs> like, please let me know if that actually works for you. And then the last section of like the black melanin section is going to be these baskets. Oop, the picture is being weird for me. But hold on, let me see if I can do that again. Nope, okay. We're just, we're going to West Elm now. 
but yeah so these baskets i just thought were absolutely beautiful i loved the texture i loved the pattern i know i keep saying that but i really just feel like this holiday season if you really want to bring africa into your home um like have the full juneteenth vibe you really need to lean heavily into textures and patterns um just that way you can really have the feel in there but it's not overpowering if that makes sense but yeah so I love this basket and especially in black like I just if you went with that yellow um, throw blanket that I recommended just think about the contrast between that and this black but um, this black basket especially the way it's like shown here with this blanket like hanging out I just think it would be beautiful like if you're a color gal and you want to like you know branch out or like try something try pops of color definitely would recommend um and then going back i found this other like art i guess inspired situation that i wanted to share with you guys um and so this is kind of like just one of those like art table pieces like a little like ceramic um pot and so again you don't have to go with this exact thing um it is located at a store um it's the intimba creations please forgive me if i did not pronounce that well but it's at for 59 dollars. but again like go shopping in your local areas go to thrift stores hit up different areas um and see what you can find and just i wanted to give you guys this inspo so you could you know use it when you're out there shopping and it's like oh hey this might look good or hey this might be great for my home okay now moving up, I have another throw pillow recommendation. I totally forgot about this one, but yeah, this is the zebra mud cloth throw pillow. They're both mud cloth throw pillows. I enjoy them. I enjoy the texture, the texture, the vibe, the feel, the look, the pattern. Like <laughs> That's what I'm here for. That's what I love about it. And I just think it would be great. Like both these pillows, I think would work for both of my girlies, my light colored girlies, my dark colored girlies. Like I just feel like it would fit the aesthetics of both homes um, because like there's already black and white in here. So, you know, you can make it work. You can make it work. I believe in you. Use it. I believe in you. Um, but yeah and then moving up we always have to have our coffee table books because that's the thing right now this is trending like we have books that we put on our coffee table do we read them no but they're there because they're cute and aesthetic so <laughs> these are some recommendations that I have for you guys these do not have to be your exact ones I just wanted to give you guys inspiration because I feel like a lot of times the coffee table books that we think that we should have on our tables are like the designer coffee table books like the Louis Vuitton the Prada the this the that and it's like no girl like you can have whatever type of coffee table book you want on your coffee table like do what inspires you do what fits you if you're into designer things if you're a material girl then get those coffee table books but if you're not like if you're into other things and other seasons then do that like if you want floral coffee table books that talk about flowers do that if you want sneaker coffee table books that talk about sneakers do that if you want like coffee table books that talk about painting and art and agriculture like do those things accounting i don't know where to find those but if if you want accounting coffee table books like do that so yeah so these ones are going to be my recommendations for juneteenth so there's this 12 years a slave um black history classic coffee table book um and so that's sold at libroworld.com there's also going to be i love this book I love this book. Um, it is also sold at libroworld.com. Um, you can probably also find it on Amazon because I think I saw it on Amazon too, but it's called The Black Food Stories. I just think this book is like beautiful. I, I love the way it looks. Like I just, that's why I chose it. And then of course, Bhagavan. Like, do I need to explain? No, it's on Etsy for $65 or probably in your local Barnes and Nobles. Like, Barack Obama um, but yeah so that's everything in my Pinterest board for you guys I will definitely leave that linked down below for you and then also of course since it's 
you know that time we support black businesses i just wanted to give you guys some black business recommendations of places um that you could kind of find things that would fit these aesthetics while also supporting some local well not local <laughs> some small black businesses so yeah so the first place i found a lot of these places on tiktok so that's another avenue that if you wanted to look for yourself that you could i just kind of searched like black small businesses on tiktok um and stuff like that so this one i loved this green candle it's through um blackculturecandles.com and i just thought the candle was beautiful i thought it would look so nice like like I said, if you wanted to do it on a table, if you wanted to do ooh, a really nice place would be like on your coffee table. Like if you did one of those baskets, the black basket that was more like less deep, shallow, shallow is the word, more shallow. And then like that or like at an entryway or, you know, on island stuff like that. They also had a yellow one that I thought was very beautiful. Um, and I did like the scents. Um, that they said as well because this one was black joy the green one was grandma's garden which is like i'm intrigued i'm interested um so definitely check them out i also found estella's colored glass because we talked about having red glass so this just fit perfectly um she has this these beautiful champagne glasses that i was just like i can't not it's the rose set so I'll include that for you guys. And then also um, alexandrawinbush.com. I just thought her take on like her business was super cool. So basically what it is, it's like a tea and a candle um, set situation. And I think there might be one other thing that I'm forgetting to mention that's included. But basically it comes as a set. So it's like a whole mood that you can set um in one so you can like have your candle drink your tea and apparently she like pairs them for you guys so it's like a whole like atmosphere and immersive situation so i loved that for you guys as a recommendation um and then it looks like that was my last one so yeah so those would be some of um the recommendations that i would have for like you know black small businesses that you guys can support when it comes to um, finding this type of style, this type of feel um, for your home. And I just, you know, would highly recommend them, you know, try it out, see um, how you like it. And, you know, let me know if you try it out and see how you like it. But anywho, before I continue to ramble, because that was getting very tangenty for me um i'm just gonna go ahead and end out this video thank you guys so much for watching thank you for those who've been sticking around through my holiday episodes i'm sorry i missed last month but we are going to keep chugging on and then just definitely enjoy your juneteenth like spend it with family um enjoy this time enjoy this celebration and i will catch you guys in my next in my next video love you